Hello and welcome to this eighth tech tutorial and today we're going to talk about drawing in 3D. Last time we were drawing in 2D as you might remember having a simple coordinate systems with two lines and five points. So today we're going to do a bit different. We're still going to use ticks but we're going to use another package as well as the regular ticks which is called well, the options um, ticks 3d plot because we are going to use 3d so let's just keep what we have in here we're still going to center it we're still going to use a tick picture um, yeah so um, let's keep that now but uh, before we have one here we are going to set the rotation of our image because this is in 3d so we might want not to see it squarely on but instead having it rotated a little bit so to do that we're going to write td plot set main chords and then the coordinates we want it to i have this as the standard rotation i'm using and it's pretty simple uh 70 degrees uh down and 130 degrees to right or left, I don't know, uh, one of the sides. But you will be able to see that when we move a little bit further into it. So, as an option for the tick picture, this time we're going to use TD plot main course. And we're just going to have a scale of 1. Because sometimes these pictures get quite big and you want to scale them down. But for now we're just going to have the scale at 1. We can always see what it does later on. So let's try and draw the different um, axes and um, let's draw an arrow and I want to start at minus 2, 0, 0 and then I want to go to something like 5.0.0 0, 0. Um, and let's have a note and let's, let's see this is the x axis so let's point it, it's probably going to go out here, no wait, yeah, so let's have it below, let's try below left, let's see how that goes, and let's try and write the x axis and the semicolon, because as you remember from last time, we use semicolon to end all our text plots, so as you can see here, this looks pretty good, we have a simple line, um, we might actually use a thick line this time, see how that works yeah that looks much better all right so let's try and draw one of the other lines let's also make this thick so they're equally thick um, but this time let's try and write the y-axis so let's try s like this and let's also just set it to five the other side and the code but node square brackets and if it's going out here then we probably want it below to the right so let's see how that will look and they will probably intersect around here yeah see that seems pretty good we starting to have half of our coordinate system and let's use the last one update not the uh, draw thick that way and let's take this c axis so minus, minus 2 and let's say 0 0.0.5 0 .5. need a point there note since it's going up I kind of want it on the left side let's just say left see what happens okay so you want uh, c and like that all right let's compile let's see what how it looks okay that looks pretty good uh standard coordinate system we don't have any grids because in 3d the grids might ruin it just a little bit um so let's try and work with this and we will probably venture into the negative numbers but uh, it won't be any problem with our axes at the moment um, and it might be a bit abstract to look at, but should should be okay. Um, so, 
I want to do two different lines. Uh, one is a small line segment, and then I want to do another line that's actually lying on top of it, but being the whole line, not just the segment on the line. And then I want to try to draw a plane um, so we can see how the two intersect. So let's try and draw first just a standard line from before. Uh, let's do it thick, let's do it red. And um, yeah, we could do an arrow, but I think we'll just go with it as it is. And let's say minus four, minus two, minus one until, I don't know, something like minus 2.2.5. Let's see how it looks. Okay, it looks pretty good. Um, yeah, let's go with it. And let's draw another line. Uh, so this is just a line segment. Uh, we could actually do something like, uh, not like that, like this maybe. Let's see if it actually wants to do a double headed arrow. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, it does. Let's do it like that. Looks. Good. Let's do thick, and let's do this red too. But let's have it dashed. Um, and this is not going to be any error hits. Let's just have it as it is. Let's say minus one, four, um, eight on. Until. Wow, well, way too much. Um, minus five, minus four, minus four should be on top of each other. No, that's very wrong. Um, let's see, what did I do wrong here? Minus four, minus four, we need a comma. Yeah, that's much better. Uh, looks pretty good. Actually, I want the dashed to be blue, just because. Yep, but now we have the dash on top of the red one. We don't want that. So let's try and draw the red one afterwards. There we go, much better. We have a nice line and yeah, looks good. So let's try and put some um, some dots in so we can actually see uh, where the whole thing is uh, it's going. Um, and let's see. Okay, let's try and draw the plane first. Um, then we can always see about the dots up here or here or something. Um, let's see, draw. And what I want to do here, since it's a plane, I might want to do a fill draw actually. Um, yeah. And let's say drawer, uh, it should be black, but the fill should be blue. Okay, and yeah, let's just go with it like that. And I want the plane to go from 0 0.6.7 until, um, what should we say, minus 3.1.5. And then go to minus 2.1.4. And then because it's a plane, well, we can try and end it here and see what happens. Where's my mouth? Mouse, there it is. Okay, so that could work. Uh, let's try and do cycle. Sometimes you want it to cycle around, so you're sure that it's actually filled out. Okay, so that's a plane. We it's hard to see if it actually intersects, if it does anything. Let's try and change the opacity. Something like 0 0.3. Okay, that's better. Um, yeah. Let's go with that. As you can see, we have the, the black outline here. And then we have the blue inside. And if you rotate this a bit, let's do like 50 or something. See if we can see. Yep, it actually intersected there. So let's try and do um, 70 and see if how we can see from the other side. Looks good. And as you can see, as we rotate around, the the objects are drawn differently because it's 
this is just we can't actually have we don't have any depth cues. We can't see how far these are. Um, it might be a bit tough, but we just have to go with the uh, with your coordinates and make sure they're correct. So um, try and do some uh, some coordinates here so we can actually see what we are talking about. So let's do uh, black dot. So let's do uh, black fill. That's not how we did it last time. I totally forgot. No, no, it was fill black. Yeah, these things, you forget them if you don't use them very often. 0 0.6.7. Let's do circle. Uh, let's have it two points again. Just because two points worked so good last time. And, well, 0 0.6.7. That's first one here, I think. No, wait, that's up here. Um, so we want it to the right below. So let's write below, right, and let's just have it, let's just write out just the coordinates. We don't really care for any labeling or something. 0 0.6.7. Let's see if this works. Yeah, it does. Good. And as you can see, we have a nice dot up here, so it's easier to see how it looks. Let's draw some of the other ones. Say fill. I'm lazy. Copy paste. We have. Ah, oh, we don't actually have four. We have three. Um. All right, Let's see how it looks if we compile. Okay, looks pretty good. The 2.2 .2 we wanted to the left instead, but below is okay. But the other one you want to the left and above. Yeah, see, now it should be better. It looks better now, but as we can see, we actually have the C axis, we actually have until seven and the y until 6, so we might want to change these so we have y until 6 at least and c until 7. Let's see, um, might look a bit better. Uh, can bit, it can seem a bit skewed since the axes are a bit off and as you can see this actually started in minus 2 so it's yeah it's very difficult from the perspective. We might want to try and rotate a little bit. Um, until we figure out uh, what we want to do with it. So um, let's see, that should be it for what I wanted to do. Let's uh, try and go 10 or go zero here and then we can rotate around 10 degrees at a time and see how it happens. Okay, as you can see here, uh, we are, that just looks bad. Let's rotate some more. Okay, so, we can see that we this line here goes way into the minus. Uh, let's do 50 instead. This is going a bit slow. Um, yeah, okay. So it's easy to see here. Uh, we lie somewhere in the in the minus. Yeah. I think uh, 150 might be better uh, for a perspective for this one here. Mm, yeah, as we can see here. Uh, yeah, it's tough. Keep with 130, because then you can actually see that. No, not 130. 110. 110 is better. Yep. Um, because you can better see the triangle. It should work out. Let's try 90. This is just trying to set it up and see how it works. Um. It's kind of funny that we start them in minus two, but start two in here. Did I write something wrong? Minus two, minus three, minus two. No, should be okay. 
Um, yeah. Should work out as a... And as you can see, we can draw simple stuff here by doing almost as we did in 2D, but instead in 3D. Um, and just make sure that all your numbers are correct, because it's very tough to see if it's actually correct or not. Might be easier if you have some easier numbers. Uh, but yeah, you can do as many of these things in one segment as you want to. So that's it. Um, next time we will talk about some, let's see, some images and we might have multiple images in one image. Sound a bit strange, but it's all right. Let's look at it. So see you next time.